Hi, welcome to the launch box video. It's probably been a while since I've done one, uh, but it's long overdue. Uh, today I'm going to show you Sega Model 3 uh, emulator and add into launch box. Uh, let's get started. It's not a difficult process, just a few things for you to find. Things I can't tell you about, where to get them, but they are readily available over the over Google. So here we go, let's get started. First of all, let's take a look at where you keep your uh, launch box. So mine's on an external drive, so there we go, I keep it, I keep it on an external. Uh, so where you go to emulators, what you'll need to get is create a folder exactly like I've done, Sega Model 3, there. Uh, when you've created that, there's different emulators updates all the time for Supermodel, which is the arcade emulator for Model 3. Uh, the latest one is there, 94 uh, version, so double click into there. Extract everything from that folder, and this is what you'll end up with. If not, I think you have to create a folder called Backup. Uh, and just all you do is just make, create a folder and just name it Backup and leave it at that. So what you'll also need to get, which doesn't come part of that file, is a Sega Model 3 UI, which is readily available through Google. Uh, you just have to do, do a bit of searching. But this is what you do. You configure all your controllers and settings on this. So I'll open this up. Just like so and this is where your, uh, your UI comes in this is where you can change everything where your ROMs are kept so you want to wherever you've got your ROMs mine are there just select them into the the folder just use the outside of the folder and just to there and that's it uh, the only other thing is you'll need to tick is the best performance is, as you can see vsync ticked GPU multi-thread ticked uh, multi-threader ticked throttle uh, show frame rate widescreen and full screen that's all I have ticked and the performance is great throughout the whole thing uh, sound you don't really need to touch any of that control obviously you need to control control or sort your control route which you'll put in there it's a straightforward thing if you're used to using launch box with emulators you you'll know what to do with that it's X input if you're using the control pad uh, and then just configure it in there uh, obviously if you want to hide any CMDs which is useful sometimes if you're using just this C, 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 this UI uh, but I don't really mess with that but you do need to configure your controller so change it there configure it there so you know you've got your accelerator and uh, brake button is the L and R at the back and up and down arrow and you'll need to configure all of that it's the best way to do it because on supermodel you have to do a lot of messing around with supermodel to do that it's all command prompts to do it uh, so yeah, so once you've got that, you've got it all set up looking like that, nothing else you need to do. So let's just move on to, like I say, it's relatively quick once you've got all of the, the emulator downloaded. And then you've got the ROMs, obviously you can find them via Google. Uh, but that's what you'll be putting into launch boxes, that there. That won't launch on its own, but it will with, with, with the launch box. Uh, it basically replaces the, the, the UI. So I'll close that down because we don't need that anymore. Uh, we'll go to uh, we'll go to the, uh, the launch box. So it goes into the arcade sections. So all you need to do is add it. So as per normal, uh, import is it manage emulator. Click into an empty box here. Mine is already in there, as you can see, supermodel. So I'll click edit, but you'll click add in a box there. So I'll click edit, and this is everything that I've set into it. Uh, don't call it Sega Model 3. I made that mistake and I couldn't get it to play for a little while and I realised what my mistake was because if you click on the tab bar there it'll come up Sega Model 3. It's got to be the same name as that to start. That's all you need to do. So just add it into there, find your uh, your browser there, click to your EXE which is that supermodel which I've just showed you. On mine is there. Uh, right, click for obviously full screen. You can see what I've put in there, dash full screen. Uh, associated platforms, Sega Model 3, type in there. Click default emulator, etc. Uh, and once you've done that, click OK. And that's pretty much it. I'll put it back to there so you can see exactly what I've done. Once you've added that, it'll start scanning your ROMs. I'll go through that process for the arcade. Uh, close that because you don't need that anymore. Uh, and obviously some neat tidying up has to be done you know because as you can see not everything in there will show you as a cover uh, there's a lot of manual work you'll have to do to get the covers 
Uh, let's see. So I'll show you game working very quickly. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, we'll show you something like Dato. There you go. Look at that. Big fan of that game. There you go. It's all running. If you want to use the test mode. F2 Yeah, F2. Once you've got it configured, you can select the point and start. Please select the race course. Begin. Please select the level of the car. Normal level car. Choose manual or automatic transmission. Automatic. Gentlemen, start your engines! You don't want to bore you too much, but yeah, I mean, you know, there's, there's a lot of good games to play on this. Uh, I like this game personally myself. This emergency call ambulance game. It's quite fun. Obviously, I have to. You have to forgive that. I have Dolby so Atmos sound. It's a great game. It's a shame it was never made to a console, but that was an arcade-only game. But yeah, there's so many good games to play that were in the arcade. Super Model 3, I think it was probably one of the best boards there was. A uh, bit of Scud Racer as well. I say my Dolby Atmos kicks in, in, in over everything for the sound. Again, if you want to use test mode, it's normally you've set that in the configures like F1, F2, F3, F4 with service, and you can change it from there, your settings. I enjoy playing this, it's very good. Uh, I'll 
I think we'll wrap it up from there. There are many games to play. Star Wars Arcade, absolutely love that game. Just show it you're loading up. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It's rude not to click a like and subscribe in our community. We hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you soon. If you will video. not fight, then you will meet your destiny. Playing games like this at home awesome. They never make consoles. The biggest shame they could well, let me know what you think about the Sega Model 3 in the comments below. And as always, take care, thanks for watching.